most projects fail in some way, including most ICT for D projects. So what can be done to reduce the chances of ICT for D failure? One well-known answer is follow the principles for digital development shown here. In this presentation, I'm going to take those principles, more fully incorporate key lessons from past failure and provide a clearer overall structure that can guide you towards successful ICT for D projects. I'm going to look at four domains of action. First, there is development context mirror the three principles underlying the sustainable development goals maximize the scope and depth of inclusion for example seeking to reframe beneficiaries from recipients to creators and producers and innovators don't aim for an incremental impact but for a transformative impact by designing and managing to enable projects to scale out and increase the chance that projects can sustain by ensuring they have ongoing resourcing and utility and institutionalization. Lessons from ICT for D project management suggest the value of partnering with powerful stakeholders. Successful projects also have an ICT for D champion, someone who is typically an adept hybrid manager, able to span the technical and the social, the rational and the political, and the outside and the inside of an ict for d project. Successful ict for d project design involves users somewhere along the spectrum from consulting through co-creating to user design, uh, sorry, user control of design. These projects use a number of iterative cycles of product release, rather than going for a single big bang changeover. And they push from the subjective to the reflective and objective through evidence-based decision making, taking time to learn from past experiences and maximizing the use of data in decisions. Successful design prioritizes the D of ICT for D over the ICT. So ensuring development goals are always the prime orientation. Successful design keeps the gap between design and reality manageable by customizing to the local context. And successful design assesses and seeks to mitigate the harms that can be associated with ICTs. Now, there may be good reasons, lack of knowledge and skills, lack of motivation, mismatch to local norms, why implementing these principles can be a challenge on ict for d projects. However, they represent our best guide to moving our projects away from failure and towards success. If you'd like to know more, then take a look at the ict for d textbook. And thank you for watching.